Hello there. In this video, we will be going over some warning signs you don't have enough oxygen in your blood. When we breathe, we inhale oxygen through our lungs, which is then passed into our red blood cells to be circulated throughout our body, reaching all of our internal organs, tissues, muscles, and cells, and cells. This process is vital to our survival as it allows our cells to make energy in a natural and healthy way. The oxygen that we breathe in is essential for the proper functioning of all the organs in our body, including the brain, heart, and liver. The oxygen that we breathe in is used to produce energy in the form of a TP, which is necessary for the proper functioning of all the cells in the body. Unfortunately, many people suffer from low levels of oxygen in their blood due to underlying health problems such as COPD, anemia, or nutrient deficiencies. COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is a lung disease that makes it difficult to breathe. Anemia is a condition where the body doesn't have enough red blood cells to carry oxygen, and nutrient deficiencies refer to lack of essential vitamins and minerals required for proper oxygenation. This condition is known as hypoxemia and if left untreated, it can lead to serious complications with the heart, liver, and brain over time. Low levels of oxygen in the blood can damage the organs over time leading to conditions like high blood pressure, heart failure, and liver damage. It can also lead to a decrease in mental clarity causing confusion and memory problems. Low levels of oxygen in the blood can have a wide range of symptoms and it's important to be aware of the warning signs. In this video, I will share with you the top 11 warning signs that you may have low levels of oxygen in your blood levels of oxygen in your blood. I will also provide some simple remedies and nutrition tips to help boost oxygen levels in your blood if you experience any of these symptoms. It is important to note that these symptoms may not be specific to low oxygen levels and may be caused by other underlying health conditions. It is always best to consult a medical professional for proper diagnosis and treatment. Dizziness and weakness. Feeling dizzy or weak when you perform light activities such as walking or standing up is a common sign of low blood oxygen levels. This happens when the oxygen levels in your blood are not reaching your muscles properly, leaving you feeling lightheaded and weak. The muscles need oxygen to function properly. Without it, they start to fatigue causing weakness and dizziness. Air hunger. When oxygen levels in the blood are low, the body craves more air which can lead to feelings of shortness of breath. This is often accompanied by sighing frequently throughout the day and is known as air hunger. The body feels like it is suffocating and it is a sign that the body is not getting enough oxygen. This is common when the blood has an acidic HE, which stops oxygen from moving freely around the body. Fast heartbeat. When there isn't enough oxygen present in your blood, your heart has to work harder to pump oxygen and blood throughout your body. This can lead to a faster heart rate, feelings of anxiety, and a pounding sensation in the chest. The heart needs oxygen to function properly, and when the oxygen levels in the blood are low, the heart has to work harder to pump blood around the body leading to a fast heart rate. Heavy legs. A lack of oxygen in the blood can make your legs feel heavy and fatigued when you climb stairs or walk up a slight hill. This happens when the muscles are not receiving enough oxygen, making them tire faster. Vitamin C deficiencies are a common cause of this problem. As vitamin C is essential for the formation of collagen, which is necessary for the proper functioning of blood vessels. Chronic tiredness. People who are lacking blood oxygen tend to feel tired and fatigued every day. No matter how much sleep you get, you may find that you still feel tired and crave sleep more than the average person. This happens because the muscles and brain tire faster when they're not able to make enough ATP fuel, which is triggered by oxygen. The body needs oxygen to produce energy in the form of ATP. Without it, the body tires out easily. Regular headaches. The brain needs a steady flow of oxygen to function properly. When your blood is low in oxygen, your brain compensates by creating pressure and widening blood vessels, which can trigger painful headaches on a regular basis, migraines, and cluster headaches on a regular basis. The brain is the most energy-intensive organ in the body, and it needs a steady supply of oxygen to function properly. Chest pain and Jenna People who are deficient in vitamin E tend to suffer from low blood oxygen levels. This can cause cramping in the muscles, particularly in the heart muscle, 
leading to chest pain and discomfort. Vitamin E is important for the proper functioning of the cardiovascular system, and a deficiency can lead to problems with the heart and blood vessels. Inability to hold breath. If you can't hold your breath for more than 60 seconds, it's possible that you're lacking oxygen in your blood. This is commonly caused by a vitamin C deficiency, as vitamin C helps the body to hold oxygen for longer and use it more effectively. The body needs vitamin C for the production of red blood cells, which carry oxygen to all the cells in the body. Blue tinge to skin. In some cases, low levels of oxygen in the blood can cause a bluish color or tinge on the skin, which is known as kyanosis. This happens when not enough oxygen is reaching the tissues, which is usually accompanied by shortness of breath. This can happen in the fingers, toes, lips, or even the entire body. Kyanosis is a medical emergency and requires immediate medical attention. Confusion. Low levels of oxygen in the blood can also affect the brain, causing feelings of confusion, lethargy, tiredness, and irritation. A subclinical vitamin B1 deficiency may be causing this problem, and it can also be caused by eating too many refined foods and sugar. Vitamin B1 is essential for the proper functioning of the nervous system, and a deficiency can lead to problems with the brain and nerves. Abdominal discomfort. In extreme cases of low blood oxygen, one may experience severe pain in the stomach and abdominal region after eating. This is often accompanied by nausea and vomiting. As not enough oxygen is reaching the tissues in the digestive system, the body needs oxygen to properly digest food. And without it, the body can't properly break down the food, leading to discomfort and stomach pain. In conclusion, low levels of oxygen in the blood can have serious consequences if left untreated. By being aware of the warning signs and taking steps to boost oxygen levels in your blood, you can improve your overall health and well-being. Remember, if you're experiencing any of the symptoms above, it's important to seek medical advice as soon as possible. Consult with a healthcare professional to rule out other underlying conditions and to get appropriate treatments if low oxygen is identified. Also, make sure to maintain a healthy lifestyle, which include regular exercise and healthy diet to ensure your body has all the necessary nutrients and vitamins it needs to function properly.